Hello, I'm Dr. Vanita Rattan, and this channel is dedicated to skin care for skin of colour. So today we're going to be doing a slightly different video. <laughs> so you can see I'm completely barefaced. And this video is really all about how I apply my makeup. And the reason I'm doing this is, number one, you have actually asked for this video. Um, but the second reason is because I've actually only written four scripts out this week. And you know how I like to release five videos a week. So I thought, let me do this one so that, you know, we can get up to our five videos. Um, but also, this is just my go-to makeup that you see in virtually all my videos. Um, and just like step by step and the exact products that I like to use. So let's get started. So the first thing that I like to do is to make sure to see what I'm going to be wearing for my shoots that day. So usually, say I do five videos, I'd like to wear at least two or three different tops just so that you have a little bit of variety. <laughs> so for example, today I'm wearing this color, I'll wear white and I'll wear this as well. So they're quite neutral colors. Um, and so it means I'm going to go with quite neutral eyeshadows and makeup for today. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start off is with my sunscreen. I'm already wearing sunscreen, but I want to show you this is sheer zinc. This is basically as white as it gets. And I am loving this right now um, just because it is summer and I get melasma and I really don't want to... Um, for it to get worse in the sun. So literally right now I am going very white. I'm not um, I'm not going with the colored ones at the moment. I've already done my forehead, so I'm just gonna leave that for now. But you can see just how white it gets. I'm just looking in my mirror because I think it's just a bit better of a reflection of what it's looking like right now. Okay, so you can see it's a very white. Um, but don't worry because we will be wearing foundation so you know it will it will improve okay so the next thing I do is go in with my color corrector this is Naked Skin from Urban Decay I love the series actually um, so I literally purchase all three that's the sort of person I am as well if I like something I'll go and buy all the different colors of that thing it might be shoes it might be tops it might be makeup and my mom laughs she thinks I'm hilarious <laughs> so first thing I do is basically pop it on uh, under my eye then I put it on top as well and if there's just any other blemishes I'll pop it on I think my skin's okay for now um, but just wherever you see blemishes so the next thing I would do is go in with the light one so this one is called yellow the normal one I wear is peach this is yellow and this I basically apply on areas that I want light to reflect off of so for example my jaw because I have quite, um, I like to accentuate my jaw. Um, I like to do it on the sides here. And then I also do it here just to make sure that um, my eyes look further apart. So wherever light hits, that expands. So, because my eyes are quite small and quite close together, I do this in order to, um, to make it look further apart. I've dampened this, so I'll just go in and pat it in quite quickly. So I tend to do the peach areas first and then I go into the light areas and I go right up until my brow bone. And the sides. And then the sides. And then I do this area. And then this area. Just on the forehead as well. Wherever I see. Good. Okay. So that's just your basic color correcting done. I will then go in with my foundation. So the one I absolutely love is Giorgio Armani. I wear number six. It's just such a... I've worn MAC in the past. I've worn NARS. I've worn Bobbi Brown. Um, but this one, I just feel like it's very light coverage. I don't generally like to wear thick, heavy, you know, caked makeup on my skin. Um, and so this just feel like comes out quite light okay I'm clearly at the end of this bottle <laughs> oh, okay here we go 
Okay, so this bottle is now complete. <laughs> I'm gonna finish the end of this bottle too. <laughs> oh Lord, I need to go shopping, I think. Who's got time to go shopping? Gosh, I feel like my life is so busy right now. And then don't forget the neck because obviously I've also made my neck really white as well from sunscreen. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and pat it all in. So that's what I like to do is I like to stipple it on so that um, any color correcting I've done underneath doesn't really move too much. And I do feel like it's a little bit more natural looking. Um, and so, just gonna, this is so different to my normal videos, isn't it? <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, so it got really high into the hairline as well. Well, I like to basically cover the lips as well. So we are starting off with a completely blank um, palette. I look really scary right now. <laughs> it does improve. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's basically the most amount of time I've ever spent doing this. Usually I'm much quicker, but I just want to show you how to do it properly. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going in with is my NYX HD finishing powder. So here, the reason I'm doing this is because I get really shiny on my nose and around my mouth area. And also I'm about to put um, contouring powder here. So because it's all um, liquid, it's just gonna stick in one area. So this is basically the area that I cover is here and here because that's all gonna now be powdered. Um, and I don't want the powder, as soon as I put it on, to stick in that one area. I also make sure that I powder my eyelids because you are about to do eyeshadow, which is obviously a lot of powder and you don't want it to just go into the creases. Okay, so next thing that I use is contour kit. As you can see, it is a mess. Um, and this is light to medium Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills. And so what I do is I literally take this brush. So it's quite a fat um, brush and it just basically go across all three because what I want, want to do is to darken this brow bone. Can you see my brow bones really are prominent? And this is something my mum always laughs at. She, My mum is just the type of person that she'll just tell me straight, immediately to my face, <laughs> anything that she thinks is wrong with my face. So often she'll watch one of my videos and say, but what happened to your eyebrow? What's wrong with your face? <laughs> and I'll just be like, I don't know, mum. It's your DNA. I'm just working with what I've got. So what I try and do is basically, I'm almost like deleting this brow bone. I'm trying to make it invisible. And then I just sweep across like a, you know, window wiper, window wiper? Yeah, like that. And blend it into the corner as well. Yeah, so I'm just trying to basically, can you see how prominent this brow and this one, I'm trying to shove it back into my face. <laughs> I like to say that I'm not a makeup artist and literally this is actually from watching YouTube videos and a ton of Huda videos. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, so I'm now going to use Kylie Jenner's Press Powder Palette. Well, I don't even know what colour this is. I think it's, I don't know, there's no name on it. Or maybe I'm missing a name, but it's this one <laughs> and it's just very... Um, it's my go-to palette actually because it's so easy like to use so literally I just go in first of all with my finger and I do love that the pigment comes out quite deep and I always always do light on the inner corner I know some people can can get away with dark on the inner corner but because my eyes are so close together um, I always always do light on the inner corner so this one is buttermilk color Okay, then I use this pencil, which I'd love to, you know, be able to tell you where it's from, but I have no idea. <laughs> but I then go in with Rose, and I just basically do exactly what I did before with the contouring, but with Rose, so it's just a little bit deeper. Okay, then I go in with Berry Bite and Cocoa. So I mix the two together. I just do the slightly outer corner a little bit more. And the same with this. If you're a makeup artist, could you just like give me some feedback and let me know what you think? Because you are going to be a lot more educated in this than I am. <laughs> I then go with my blending brush just to make sure that it doesn't look like, you know, white and dark. 
and I always go outwards because I'm trying to give my eye sort of this type of look. Yeah. I'm then going to go with Spice Plum, which is the, the darkest colour on the palette. And I literally just keep it where I'm basically going to do the eyeliner. So my eyeliner always goes up um, and I just want to almost, so it's just got like a slightly deeper base when I pop the eyeliner on. Okay, so I'm just going to go in a little bit more with the with the buttermilk just because I like the white to come just up into the edge of the iris um, just to make sure that I keep that continuity going. And then I go in with my glazed and that's just to make it pop a bit more, especially on camera. I do feel like your features become really um, almost invisible on camera, things become a little bit more distorted, so you almost have to exaggerate everything, you know? Okay, right, so that's basically my eyeshadow done. Um, if you want, and say you're going for something a bit more peach, you would pop on a bit more peach in order to do that, but I'm going quite neutral today. Okay, so I'm next going to powder contour my face. So this is NYX Professional Makeup, um, and it's HCPP01. Um, and so it's actually really similar to the contour kit from Anastasia, but guess what? I basically finished it. And so I couldn't get into Selfridges because of COVID. And so this was the next thing that I used. And actually it's really good and much cheaper. So blow. I do find even your cheekbones become, you don't really see them on camera unless you almost draw them back in again. And I do, so I sort of go upwards and then I just kind of, follow as well. I'll do this bit as well because I find like your face almost um, blends in with your neck and then I just yeah, use the back of my hand just to blend it a little bit more because there's only so much your brush is going to do. I feel like sometimes your hand is a better tool. Okay so the next thing I would do is go in with a different, so I always, I have two different brushes. This is my dark brush and then I go with my light brush and this is for my jawline and anything that I want to highlight but in a matte way. So for example I highlight this with the shiny highlighter and then I go in with a matte um, lighter powder just on my jawline just to actually make it stand out, stand out a little bit more. Yeah. The other thing that I like to do is just the tip of my nose. So I have a very Punjabi nose, so <laughs> we have really long noses. And so what I tend to do is just shorten it a little bit. So I just powder a tiny bit and it just makes your nose just suddenly become shorter. So it's quite a neat trick for anyone with an extra nose. <laughs> Okay, so my eyeliners that I'm currently obsessed with is um, Schwing, so it's really black on the top. Um, I actually really love Huda Beauty's under eye eyeliner, so I use it for that. And I am loving her legit lashes as well. So I go in first of all with my the curl and length, and then I go in with the volume as well. Okay, so I have actually done my top eyeliner because I'm just not good enough to do it in front of the camera. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to do the under eye in front of the camera. I feel like maybe I can do this. <laughs> oh my God, that was so stuck. I'm watching Huda Boss at the moment. And she's going through like all the trauma that she's had with trying to make this eyeliner. It's so exciting actually. Have you seen her a boss? Like right down below, yes, love it, or whatever you think. Do you pull like really ridiculous faces when you're doing your makeup? <laughs> okay, here we go. So now moving in with her legit lashes. So I'm going to do the length and curl first. And this formula is actually quite strong. So I let it breathe first, otherwise I will end up crying a little bit. So I always do the um, one side first and then I go in with underneath. And I do feel like if you've got really small eyes, eyelashes are everything. And I'll show you another little trick that I do with my eyeshadow in a second as well. I'm actually really far away from the mirror right now. So I'm surprised I haven't poked my eye out yet. Okay, here we go. Do 
can't speak too soon, Dr. V. <laughs> And I just do a little bit underneath as well. Okay, perfect. Then I go in with my volume. Okay, yeah, so I feel like now I'm coming a little bit more back to life. Okay, so then I'll just go in slightly more. Now that I know where my eyeliner is, I go with a slightly more stippled brush um, just to put a little bit in the corner because I do feel like that does also help to open up the eye just on top of my eyeliner. It almost blends into it a little bit. And again, just blend it in as well. I feel like this is where all goes wrong if you don't blend it enough. And sometimes I do look back on my videos and think, ah, why did I not blend in that blue eyeshadow, you know? <laughs> okay, so going in with my lip liner. So this one is Urban Decay 24-7 Gash, and I love all of the whole lip liner range. I've literally bought all of them. I actually line on top of the actual border. And I tend to darken the corners. I think the problem with me is my lips are so um, big and wide for my face. So I try and almost like squish them in a bit. <laughs> then I just go with some Vaseline because my lips are actually quite dry. And I do feel like it helps to blend it a little bit. Then the colour I'm going to choose today is Huda Beauty Icon, so it's this one, but I do have, like literally, I have whole sets. So the two that I'm obsessed with, Kylie I'm obsessed with actually, I love her, all her lip kits, I've bought, I don't know how many, um, and I love Huda's as well. So Huda, I've got this one, um, Gossip Girl, which I wear quite a lot in my videos. Uh, this icon and trendsetter. I wear trendsetter quite a lot. Um, so I'm probably going to mix these two today, but let's have a look. And I'll pat it all the way. I'm not actually loving this colour at all. I'm going to try a different one. So we're going to go in with Kylie Head Over Heels. So this is a bit more purple. Let's try this on top. So this is my problem, is I don't really just wear one lipstick, I'll wear kind of four. <laughs> Let's try that. I think it's a bit better. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now because they are shocking. Okay, so here I'm using Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. Uh, what color do I use? Number five? It says number five, so I think that's what I use. A uh, high brow, which I use as well, which it goes under. And then this is the 24 hour brow setter. So the thing with this is it's really dark. Okay, so first of all, I just brush my brows to get them into shape. Then I go in. Okay, so I'm now gonna go in with my high brow. I just feel like it gives a much more of a neater shape. And then I'm just going to go in with my brow setter. I'm now going to apply my lashes because for me, I do feel like big eyes are important for my little face. <laughs> so give me one second. 
Okay, so the lashes that I love are Ilo, uh, Most Wanted, Gimme Gimme, I think. So um, I love Duo, and I tend to go with the dark eyeliner, um, dark uh, glue, so that basically you can't tell, you can't see this white glue on my eyelid. Okay, so eyelashes are done. I'm just gonna go in now with my quick highlighter. <laughs> which is from Ofra, and I love, love, love it. I just pop it on wherever there's a high point. And that is basically it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair right now, um, but that is my no makeup, ton of makeup look <laughs> that I do for you. And this is basically why I only film once a week because which mom has got time to do this every day? You know, I'll do it once a week, I'll make my five videos, and then I'll edit all week and that's basically how this whole thing works. So if there's any other videos you want me to make for you, um, please can you write it in the description box below. Please download your free guide for Skin of Colour. And please can you give me a thumbs up because I'm, I don't even know if I'm gonna release this video. I'm actually really nervous. This is totally off topic, totally off genre. But um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Bye.